Hey everyone, hope everything is going well with you. Today we are going to do a fan request as a couple of different people have asked for follow-up video on the first couple of clutches that I produced earlier this year and that are available currently on Morph Market. So I'm going to show them off today and at the end of the video also give everyone who watches this a special little deal so stick around I'm Jack this is Python Addiction And again, welcome back. I'm Jack, and today we're going to go over, and I'm going to show you guys uh, Clutch 1 and the couple of babies that survived from Clutch 2. If you haven't watched the previous uh, cutting videos, uh, you will see with Clutch 2 that I only have two surviving babies. So we're going to go over ten different uh, babies today and what's available currently listing on Morph Market. So what I'm going to start right off the bat with uh, baby number one. And this is from Clutch One from earlier this year. Birth date was the April 28th was when this clutch hatched out. And as you can see, this first one right here is a pastel pinstripe. Very, very gorgeous. And all of these from clutch number one are all 66% uh, het for piebald. And you'll actually see some of that het influence in a couple of the babies. So I'm going to switch over to where you can see the overhead and get a nice overhead view as well very gorgeous little baby this is a female and we will do uh, weights as well get that all set up now out of these first eight two of them uh, had a little bit of a hard time starting. They didn't want to eat right off the bat. So we're going to get a weight on this one at 180 grams. So very, very gorgeous little girl here. So here again is the normal shot. And this is number uh, C01, number one of the clutch so this was the, from the very first clutch of the season back in april so a very gorgeous pastel and pinstripe girl that is also 66 percent het for piebald next on the list is a boy and this one is number two from the clutch and this is a lesser pinstripe and with this particular lesser pinstripe again you're going to see some of the het influence from the piebald with just the pattern being all jumbled up and mixed up in with the mix here with just the lesser and the pinstripe and we'll switch back over again to the overhead so you can see that right here again very gorgeous boy i'm guessing gonna be probably around the same weight you gotta stay on the scale he's being a little movie movie so come on nope. 
173-ish. So around 170, 173 grams. Very active little boy. Um, as far as feed for all of these, I try to do a switch between both uh, frozen thawed and uh, live mice. They are currently on uh, just shy of adult mice. Um, so small mice would be probably what you could constitute it as. And except for two of them, they'll all switch in between without any problem. Um, I have two, the two that did not want to start feeding right off the bat that are only on live. So this next one is number three, and this is a pastel lesser. Pinstripe. And you can, you'll be able to see the variation for these because I actually have two pastel lesser pinstripe girls. They're both female. This is uh, C01-03. So this is the third baby from the clutch. And we'll switch over to the overhead again so you can see very very beautiful and it's interesting how the pattern switches up when you add additional genes into the mix 160 grams for this girl so again very very gorgeous little girl here very handleable just shut out a couple of days ago so very bright in the mix the next girl that I'm going to show you is the same exact thing with the pastel lesser pinstripe she has not shut out yet she'll probably shut out in the next couple of days she's her eyes are no longer blue so probably in the next day or so she will shut out completely but here is the next one that's also the same pastel, lesser, and pin. And you can see with her, her belly is still nice and pinkish brown, so she's getting ready to shed out shortly. And we will switch over again. to the overhead so you can see the overhead on her and again just like the other one probably around she doesn't want to get weighed so let's switch this back to grams oh, come on girl hundred and sixty three grams for her So, again, as you can see, very, very gorgeous girl. Eats like a champ. Doesn't matter what you give her, she'll eat it. And number five here is just a uh, single gene expression of an animal. It's just a lesser. But you'll see what the hat influence can have on this boy here. Here is just a lesser 66% hat pied, but I can pretty much guarantee that there is uh, the pie, he is hat for the piebald, even though genetically speaking, until actually proven out, I can only notate it at 66%. But with that striping down his back, it's a very, very, very 
high indicator that piebald is at play, that the hat is at play. So a very striking boy. And like I said, he didn't want to eat right at the beginning, so he got a, a couple of weeks behind when it comes to the feeding aspect. So he's going to be a little bit... Oh. The only thing I hate about touchscreen types of scales is 135. They're very sensitive. So he's at 135 grams. And again, there he is right there for everyone to see. And he is available. I don't ship anything under 100 grams unless it comes in the form of a corn snake or some of the uh, smaller snakes. But when it comes to the bull pythons, I always tend to wait until they get to be at least 100 grams. So at 133 grams, 132 grams, I will definitely be willing to do shipping for this boy as well. And he is up listed on morph market just like the rest of these and number six here is the other one that started a little bit late with the feeding and another single gene animal but also still 66 percent het pied is just a plain pinstripe and this is also a boy or no, actually, no, this is a girl. Let me double check that. Yep, this is a girl. This is a girl. So just a pinstripe girl. And we'll get an overhead view on her. Still a little head shy, but I try to handle them several times a week just so they get used to the handling aspect of things weight-wise. Oh, you gotta stay on there. 122 grams for this girl. Oh, come on. So she's at 122 grams currently. Also eating just live, not eating frozen thawed. Um, just kind of snubs her nose at it, which I've had, I've, I've seen that happen with those that are a little bit late to start in getting them switched over to frozen thawed is a little bit more difficult because I strictly start offering just live when it comes to those that don't want to start eating right off the bat. And this next one is a bell. It's a super lesser. Come here, baby. Female. So it's 100% hat, or 100, not 100%, 100, 66% uh, hat for the pied, just like the rest of them. And also possible pastel and possible pinstripe, which you're really not gonna see. When I do the black lighting on her, I can see some faint resemblance of a pattern, but not sure if it's the pie, if it's the pastel or if it's the pinstripe. Uh, she was a little bit brown at first when she was first born which kind of tends to have me lead that she's got the pinstripe in her but again with her being a bell it's very difficult to confirm that without proving it out but we'll go back to the overhead as well so you can see that another beautiful girl and her weight is at 163. So she's nice, right in the same range as the others that all established at the same time. So very, very beautiful little girl. 
like very chill, very relaxed, inquisitive. So that is number seven out of clutch number one. And the last one out of that particular clutch is a pastel lesser. This is also female. I got I was very female heavy for clutch number one here. Uh, very female. I only had the two males out of everything. Everything else came out as female, which was uh, a little bit against the odds there. But another gorgeous girl. I had somebody that was originally interested in her, but due to unforeseen circumstances, can't get her. So she is available and listed on Morph Market. I will switch over to the overhead again so you can see her there. I love the, the wackiness of the pattern. And once again, this is some of the signs that that hat is potentially in there with just the, the flaming on the sides. There's no ringers or anything like that for uh, the piebald isn't always a the ringer isn't always the only sign of a uh, hat being inside of an animal but you can see some of the potential on the flaming on the sides but otherwise very gorgeous and 160-ish grams so again right in the same realm as the other ones that were already established so this was number eight from clutch number one so c0108 is this girl right here now the next one that i'm going to show off uh, well i'm going to show them both off but only one of them is available is clutch number two this was the clutch to where i had originally eight eggs and five of them went bad almost immediately upon the beginning of incubation and then when i did the cutting on the uh a few weeks ago because shoot they were born right on may 25th so a couple, little over a month and a half just a little over a month and a half ago um when i did that cutting um, one of the eggs that pipped ended up not making it. That was a uh, bamboo. And then I had this girl that made it as well as uh, what looks like a normal that um, was very, very small. I mean, 19 grams out of the egg. And I'm still assist feeding that one. Uh, it was originally force feeding at first, but now it's I can get it into their mouth and they'll actually start eating it and swallowing it on their own, which is definitely a step in the right direction. But I love this girl. She is Enchi and Bamboo. I love her head stamp. Maybe the overhead is going to get a better view of her heart-shaped head stamp very gorgeous and with her being end of may she's gonna be at probably around 130 grams i'm guessing right now if she's gonna cooperate are you gonna cooperate girl 127 grams 128 grams so just around that mark so just around that mark so definitely available and i uh, can Definitely go through and do shipping with her. Uh, but a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern on her. Just bamboo and enchi. I have no idea as far as any potentials for hats. Um, and that is partially because she was born and 
the 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 genetics on the uh, the Enchi girl that she was born from uh, were just supposed to be Enchi and one het, but there's no way of knowing exactly what's in her right now until you do some pairing or proving out type of thing. So, a very gorgeous little girl. Very gorgeous little girl. And then this last one, again, is not going to be available currently as they're still going through and getting established. But this is the other, oh, the other baby from clutch number two. Um, definitely, I mean, just a normal. And we'll switch over to the other camera. So you can see, just a normal, but weight-wise, starting off at 19 grams, so at 31 grams, so gaining weight, has energy, it's just going to take a little while to establish this one, and everything like that, probably just be a nice little pet for somebody once he or she I have not gendered this one yet um, once they get up to weight but still a very very gorgeous little baby so there you have it as far as updates on mm -hmm. the first two clutches of the year and with uh, those updates you're probably wondering what I was talking about as far as specials. Anyone that mentions this particular video will get 10% off. And I will also do a flat rate shipping within the United States of $50 for anyone who mentions this video and picks up one of the babies. If you're interested in more than one, I'll up that to 15% off. So 10% off if you mention this video and it's a $50 flat rate shipping. And if you want two or more, I'll take 15% off of the total and you'll still get that flat rate shipping. If you're interested, just go to my Morph Market page and it's I'll put the link right here. And it's also gonna be in the description below and just do the inquiry right straight through Morph Market and mention that you watched this video and I'll apply that discount accordingly based off from the pricing that's currently listed on Morph Market. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. And if you have any comments, do put those into the comment section below. As I indicated, this video is a uh, response video to a couple of inquiries that uh, people wanted updates on the first couple of clutches that I had. So I will happily do some of these videos that you guys want to see. If you've made it this far into the video and it, you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification button as that'll let you know when I do put out new videos. I tend to do new videos at least once a week. Um, I do have a live stream that will probably happen later on during this week for clutch number five, my banana bread. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. When I do the live stream, I'll probably do that at around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the general time frame that I'll do live frames or live streams. So until next time, I'm Jack and this is Python Addiction.